Hey, it's Joe from the Test Guild. And one of the most misunderstood concepts I've heard about ever in software testing is around BDD or behavior driven development. So, in this series, I want to share with you a bunch of sessions from my annual online event. Automation Guild, it's an online conference that happens every year that I've been running since 2017. So before I head over to Seb Rose that talks about the introduction to BDD and core concepts you need to know to be successful with behavior-driven development, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel to get alerted every time I release a new video. So let's hand it over to Seb. Hi, uh, my name is Seb Rose. I'm a member of Cucumber Limited. I'm a contributor to the open source Cucumber project. And I'm also a lead author of this rather wonderful book, The Cucumber for Java Book. Uh, today, we will be going through an introduction to Cucumber. I will be using IntelliJ, which is a popular IDE, and I will be using Cucumber for Java. Um, but most of the material that I will be uh, demonstrating is equally useful in other versions of Cucumber, and also, in fact, uh, for Specflow, which is the .NET c -sharp port of Cucumber. So uh, we're going to go into the code very soon, but beforehand, I would like to issue a few warnings about what Cucumber is intended to be used for, uh, because quite often we find that people want to use it as a test automation tool. So as I created Cucumber as a collaboration tool, uh, and I think before I start uh, showing you some code and how Cucumber works, it's worth reminding ourselves that Collaboration is about having the technical and non-technical members of the team work together to try and understand what the requirements are, understand how we're going to satisfy our customers' needs. Uh, and although Cucumber itself is a tool that facilitates the automation of those requirements, uh, the specifications will actually run as automated tests, that's not the prime purpose. So Cucumber is a tool that facilitates automation but it wasn't created as a test automation tool. It's a tool that supports collaboration. And this blog post by Aslak about the world's most misunderstood collaboration tool uh, lays out our, our understanding and our attitude um, in some detail. Liz Keogh, who uh, has also worked with Dan North, uh, puts it in a slightly different way as she talks about having conversations being more important than capturing conversations. So that is the collaboration, the ability of uh, various members of the team to uh, discuss the requirements uh, effectively is the most important factor in behavior-driven development. Uh, then being able to capture those conversations so that we, we can use them throughout the development process. Uh, and this is often thought of as capturing the Gherkin scenarios. Uh, so this is not as important as having the conversations, but it's still important. And capturing those scenarios, as in documenting them, is more important than automating them, which is uh, the work that we'll be looking at today, the work that Cucumber itself was created to support. 